students, Ms. Interest here. Today, our essential question is, how do I organize my Google Drive? If you don't know how to get to your Google Drive, you want to go to the waffle up here on the top right corner and click on the waffle, go down and click Drive. And now you're into your Google Drive. Now, if your Google Drive looks like mine and there's no folders and you just have a bunch of things in here and you have to go through and organize them, I wanna teach you today how to create folders and organize all of your files in there. Another way to look at Google Drive is by clicking this button up here. And this will put all of your documents in a file like this. And so you have last modified, who's the owner and the name. So it just depends on how you want to look at your documents. Personally, I like to see them like this so I can see exactly what the documents are. Okay, so how do we actually organize our Google Drive? We're going to go to the left-hand side and we're going to click the plus sign that says new. This is going to give us a new folder. So we're going to go to folder here. And now I want to create a folder for each class. So I'm going to type in English, create, new folder. I'm going to type in Spanish, science, history, PE, elective, And there we go. Now that I have these all organized, a few things that you can do. In each folder, so here I have an English folder. I'm gonna click on it and open it. There's nothing in there yet. So what I can do is create a folder for each year. I can type in English 9, English 10, And so on, here we go. See how quick and easy this is? English 11. And I'm gonna make one English 12. So now as I put my English documents into the English folder, I can then come in here and I can sort them based on the year. And if I'm not in English 12 yet, I'm just planning ahead. I'm ready for it with those folders. Now that I have my folders in place, I want to go in and color code them. So you, most people will use the idea of a rainbow and you can go down from the colors of the rainbow. It's really up to you. You can do it based on your first period class all the way down. Again, you get to decide that. But here I just can do the same thing with history, right? I can type in world history. And I can type in US history, American government, econ. So you can have a folder for each class. Now, some of you might want to have those folders out here in the main area. That's fine. It's up to you how you want to organize it. But what we're trying to help you do is to say that folders are important and organizing your documents is very, very helpful. Just like as if you had a notebook with a bunch of pages everywhere, that doesn't lead to success. It just actually leads to chaos and anxiety and probably frustration because you're going to have to sort through and find the papers. The same thing is with your Google Drive. And so you want to take time out of your week, out of your month, put it aside in your planner to to say, hey, I have to stop and I have to organize my Google Drive just like I would organize my email. This leads to successful students, less anxiety, you're, you know where your documents are and you can quickly get to them. I just want to show you how to color your folders. I'm going to click, I'm going to do a right click on English. I'm going to go to change color and I'm going to make English red. I'm going to go to history and I'm going to make history and then I'm going to go to PE and let's make it green. All right. So you get the point. You get to make up those colors again. Um, a big point of this is that you can color code them any way you want. Sometimes people want to color code them based on how they feel about the course and um, what, you know, what colors mean to you. If yellow means exciting, uh, red's your favorite color. So you make red the the color of your favorite class. It's really up to you, but just a fun way to begin to categorize your folders here.
Now, the next step I want to do is I want to organize my, my documents into my folders. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to sort through every single document. I'm going to show you how easy it is to organize your assignments. So here, this is a history document. I'm going to click on it and drag it. This is an elective document. Click and drag. This is a history document. Okay, and I'm just going to go through and drop and drag them all. This one is for English class. This one is for history class. Here I have science. Again, history. And you see what I'm doing. And now I am cleaning up my drive so everything has a correct home. And I will know where to go and find it. And I won't feel stress, anxiety, disorganization. But this does take a little bit of time. You have to go through. And just another key point for some of you. Now, if I know these five documents are all my history documents, I can click. So what I did is I clicked here and I dragged over and I highlighted all of them. I then can just pull it up and drag it into the folder it goes. And that took all of them at one time. So I'm going to show you that one more time. I'm going to click, drag, it highlighted them, and I'm going to drag them all into the same folder at one time. Now, I would have to know that they all belonged in that folder in order to do that. Okay, so some of you have never done this before. So you have a lot of documents. Maybe perhaps you're in 11th grade and you have stuff all the way back to elementary school, middle school. So this is gonna take you some time to go through. You can delete or put in the trash can some documents that you know you'll never need. But we do recommend you using the skill of learning how to file instead of deleting things because you'll never know when you might actually need something in the future. And this is just a great skill to have as you become a professional. When you're in a job, you don't want to delete your emails. You don't want to delete your files because you don't know if they may be needed later. So you want to learn to have a filing system. Today in this lesson, I hope I showed you how to create Google folders, how to file your folders into those Google folders, how to color code them, and how to have a clean, organized drive. Good luck, Blackhawks.